on March 27, the UN General Assembly adopted a resolution on the territorial integrity of Ukraine by vote of 100 in favor, 11 against, and 58 abstentions. Kazakhstan was among the nations that abstained from the voting. Karat Abdrahmanov, Kazakhstan's permanent representative in the UN, said that his country was home to Kazakhs, Russians, Ukrainians, Tatars, Germans, Poles, Koreans, and others who lived in peace and harmony. The government of Kazakhstan was interested in a sovereign, stable, and independent Ukraine, he said, adding that its economic recovery was a prerequisite for resolving the situation. In return, Ukraine sent a diplomatic note to Kazakhstan expressing concern over the statements made by President Nazarbayev at the Global Nuclear Security Summit in The Hague. At that briefing, he said that Ukrainian political leadership had been swaying from one side to another between the European Union and Russia. The people and the country found themselves divided into two parts, which eventually led to an unconstitutional takeover. He called Ukraine to return to illegal terrain and elect a legitimate president, parliament and a legitimate government, and then, with this in place, hold peaceful negotiations and jointly find a way out of the situation. The Ukrainian foreign minister said that statements of the Kazakhstan president contradicted the fundamental principles of the international law, repudiated the partnership ties between the two nations, and were unacceptable for Ukraine. We were perplexed by the diplomatic note that we received from the Ukrainian foreign ministry. Obviously, its sending was driven by overt emotions rather than common sense. Kazakhstan holds a balanced and realistic position on the Ukrainian crisis our country's president has repeatedly called, including during the Global Nuclear Security Summit in The Hague, to surmount the Ukrainian crisis through peaceful negotiations of all the sides, hold nationwide and truly representative democratic elections, and promote the economic recovery of the country. We don't see any reason for Ukraine to be displeased with these statements. The Ukrainian temporary chargé d'affaires in Kazakhstan would be once again invited to the foreign ministry to be offered explanations of the Kazakhstan's official stance on the Ukrainian crisis. And we have no intention of answering the said diplomatic note in written. Kazakhstanская сторона в лице уважаемого министра иностранных дел Kazakhstan, represented by His Excellency Minister of Foreign Affairs, has expressed its position that, in essence, comes down to not continuing the confrontation on this issue. And as the current head of the Ukrainian embassy, I would like to state that both Ukrainian and Kazakhstan diplomats intend to solve all the problems, including the sensitive ones that arise between our countries, through normal diplomatic means. Both sides are set on this. This concerns this diplomatic note. And, at Minister Idrissa's request, I am not going to comment it any further, but the message that we should move forward, that I got today at the meeting in the Foreign Ministry, I think Kyiv will endorse it. For more news, please visit www.en.ingrenews.kz.